Meet Rita. Rita and her family have a 40 megabits per second internet plan. But when she runs a speed test, she only sees a download speed of 22 megabits per second on her laptop. Let's see what's going on and what Rita can do about it. Your internet speed plan and setup may be different from Rita's, but the concepts and tips are the same. So let's dive in. First, it will help Rita to know more about how internet speed works. Internet speed consists of two parts, the speed of the network connection outside her home, delivered to her modem, and the speed of the network inside, delivered from her router to her devices. Except in the case of an area outage, the network speed to the modem tends to be fairly consistent. However, the speed to each device in your home or business will change throughout the day and from device to device. From here, Rita can look at several factors to see how they affect the speed she's getting. When Rita plugs her laptop straight into her router and turns off everything else in her house, she can measure the network speed to her modem. She sees it's 39 megabits per second, but when she tests the speed to that same laptop over Wi-Fi, two rooms away from the router, with all other devices still disconnected, she now sees a download speed of 36 megabits per second. Of course, there are a bunch of other devices in Rita's household that are connected on an average day two computers, two smartphones, and a home security system. With everything running at the same time, that speed to her laptop is now 29 megabits per second. When the weekend arrives, Rita's daughter comes home from college and her son's friends come over to hang out. Now her home network is also supporting a gaming system, two more tablets, her spouse's e-reader, two smart TVs, and an additional laptop and smartphone. Suddenly, the speed test on her same laptop over Wi-Fi dips to 24 megabits per second. And when Rita runs a test on the desktop computer she bought in 2014, the speed comes in at only 20 megabits per second. Finally, when the kids try to stream a movie in the basement, far away from the router on the second floor, they complain about the constant buffering. If she could measure the speed to that streaming device right now, it would show only 13 megabits per second. But Rita's story doesn't end there. After looking at each of these factors, Rita figured out a few changes she could make to fix bandwidth issues and keep her speeds up, even with everyone at home. First, Rita moved her router to a more central spot on the main floor. This improved performance on some of the high bandwidth devices, but it was still too far to get a strong Wi-Fi signal to the TV and gaming system in the basement. Next, she added a Wi-Fi extender downstairs and now enjoys full bars in all areas of the house. Even devices that are asleep can drain bandwidth by running backups, so Rita improved her speeds a little by turning off a few of her devices when they weren't being used, including tablets, laptops, and the gaming system. Each device has its own speed limit, and older machines are simply slower. Rita decided it was time to upgrade her older computer and one of her tablets. That solved the sluggish performance there. She also checked all the operating systems and browsers for updates and reminded her family to do the same to keep every device running its fastest. Finally, Rita realized that her work computer was now close enough to the router to plug it in directly with a long ethernet cable. By removing Wi-Fi from the equation in this case, she achieved a faster and more stable connection for video conferencing throughout her workday. Each of these tips on its own can make a difference, and taken together, they can noticeably bump up the internet speeds you see from day to day. For more on optimizing your internet speed and performance, visit www.centurylink.com speedhub.